Here's the essence of the temperament problem on guitar. The frets, as we know, are placed according to equal temperament, so we can play the instrument in any key. But the overtone series of the strings is effectively in just temperament. That means that the fifth scale degree will be two cents sharp, and the major third scale degree will be 14 cents flat. Now, when I tune by ear, I'm going to hear that, and so I'm going to want to say if I'm tuning to an open E chord, I want to tune that, that major third a little flat. You see, it has a very consonant sounding E chord, and I can confirm what I've done if I play that harmonic against an artificial harmonic of the first fret of the G string. You can see. I've matched that pretty close. Okay, so that gives us a great sounding E chord, but... The other chord's not so good. And the reason is, those other chords don't have their major thirds falling on the G string. So now if I put that back... and tune to thirdless chords. Here's an A and an E. No thirds, just roots and fifths. If I get those two equally in tune, now I open E chord. Uh, the third's a little edgy, but it sounds okay. But the other four chords will sound equal. So this is the compromise that we have to make because of equal temperament. Now just to show that that doesn't only apply to the open E chord, let's try it with the A chord. Again, sounds a little edgy. But make that A chord sound nice with the major third. Then happened. Again, I've tuned to the overtone series, to the major third in the overtone series. I've matched those two pitches. Now, other chords that don't have their third on the B string now are going to be out of tune. So, once again, if I tune to my open thirdless chords, the A chord sounds pretty good. It's a little edgy there. But again, D sounds pretty good. All four other chords sound equally in tune. In fact, we can show that this is true for all five chord forms. If we take the E chord, the G sharp, and the third on the third string on the G string, the G sharp in the overtone series is flat compared to the third in the chord. Similarly, the A chord. The A, C sharp, major third, compared to the fretted major third. The D chord, the F sharp, compared to the fretted F sharp. The, in the G chord, the B natural major third, against the open B string. And finally, this one's a little more difficult. If we fret the first fret of the B string, give us a C, and play four frets above that, and compare that to the open string harmonic. Those two E's, again, have the same discrepancy. So you can see the major third in the overtone series is always flat compared to the fretted note. Now, if I tune by harmonics, as we say, from the octave to fifths harmonics on the fifth and seventh frets, my way across. I'm going to add two cents with each string pair until I get to the G and B string, in which case then I'll have to go again to the fourth fret harmonic, which is the major third, against the octave. So then I'm going to lose 14 cents there. and then gain two back at the high E. That's not too bad. Now 
And now basically nothing is in tune. So again, our thirdless chords come to the rescue. five chord forms sound equally in tune. <laughs> 